this model is known as uh, uh, GP3D wireless model. The range is a limited range. The range is uh, 700 uh, meters. Uh, so and the other other one is 1200 meters. This one is uh, 700 meters. And this comes in a suitcase. And uh, it consists of uh, one transmitter and one receiver. Uh, two charges and it consists of the antenna system so uh, you can see on the now the box fitted fitted with the antenna system one is the transmitter the other is the receiver and there are two charges to charge the unit independently so this is a kind of um, a 700 meter range uh, uh, wireless gp3d wireless system so next we will be so this is the complete box which comes along with the unit the entire setup unit along with the charger so now let us uh, take this one to a uh, field uh, trial so in, in this field trial we are placing the transmitter and receiver across 10 meters 10 meter tape is laid over there and we are keeping the transmitter and the receiver at a distance of 10 meters and there is a and this area we are going to scan so like this if there is a vast area you can able to scan it like this 10 meters 10 meters once you can keep on scanning and you can able to find out the uh, bore point the better yield point the best yield point you can able to take surveys and you can able to get it so now these uh, two units are connected to this uh, laptop unit so the laptop we have the software uh, that drives the two units so they uh, uh, they send frequency waves collect the data and through the input screen we are going to connect with that The software we have to enter all the required parameters like who is the customer name, the surveyor name, and the uh, depth we are going to search like 200. Uh, the search range between the sensor and those details we have to enter. Once that is being entered, uh, then uh, there is a button called geolocation. You have to click the geolocation so it will take us to the uh, point automatically both the sensor both the uh, units uh, transmitter and the receiver units should be switched on uh, and placed at a distance of 10 meters gap and after some time it starts to blink so it means they are ready for scanning and uh, if uh, without them uh, without these uh, uh, units uh, getting ready for blinking someone operates the software the software will show error sensor one error or sensor two error depends on which one is not activated so both the units, both the transmitter and the receiver unit has to be placed at a distance of 10 meters and scanning has to be done. And once they start blinking, uh, profile scan button can be switched on in the computer. They will scan and send the data to the computer. For the next, uh, uh, for, so like this, 10 meters, 10 meters, like 10 meters, 10 meters, his pros should be shifted and the entire area can be scanned in this way like uh, uh, first 10 uh, first 10 uh, meter next another 10 meter next another 10 meter another 10 meter so like this 10 meter 10 meter once it can be taken and it can be scanned similarly for existing bore point also in the same way scanning can be done and so to find out uh, for if you know the exact location also across the location uh, to the left 5 meters and to the right 5 meters the sensors can be placed and earth depth profile can be scanned and seen if the bore point is known already so like this way uh, it will help in uh, understanding the earth profile rock surface information and to uh, uh, settle at the
now we are coming to the online screen in online screen uh, we you see the software asks you to enter the uh, surveyor name the customer name the search depth range and the sensor how much distance the sensors are placed and finally i want to get the exact bore location point so i am entering the particular place value uh, and i am clicking the geo location button it takes me to the uh, chrome automatically opens and it takes me to the uh, broader view of the geo location point here i can zoom up uh, i can zoom up to the maximum extent and i can go to the earth uh, profile and i am going to select the exact pinpoint location it will give the broader location but i want to pinpoint the exact bore point location so this is my exact bore point location near to a tree so i am clicking on that bore point location where the current scan is being made and you can see the point and i am clicking the coordinate value and the point selected i am showing it now so this value reflects to this side and i am uh, copying the latitude longitude value and going to the original form software form to copy the latitude longitude first i copy the latitude then i uh, enter the longitude value and the report to whom the report should be sent i am entering uh, the person to whom the report should be sent then i am clicking the profile scan button once i click the profile scan button and wait you can see readings will appear in the below box the scanned values will appear in the below box and the respective images will appear we have to wait for few second few minutes few, few few minutes okay so you see uh, the different uh, profile generated from the software i am showing one by one four different figures will be generated and you can see the in the profile the first one is the earth depth profile so the vertical section is the depth and the horizontal section is the surface the sensors are placed across so you can see at third point you can see there are two sources uh, point setting source one at 100 and another source at 150 something and this is the earth lat long profile so here also the profile mapping the exact bore point location profile mapping i am showing with respect to location one and this is the depth frequency mapping where we can see the depth where it reaches the minimum uh, probably with respect to the uh, long uh, value and this is the 3d profile we can able to see the surface scanned surface the sensor difference and also we are seeing the depth at what point third point where the mouse you can see the point one point to source one source two able to reach over there so uh, these are different uh, report generated but at the same time a complete pdf with respect to the thing entire thing will be generated over here so you can see the uh, the four uh, no figures which are generated and this is the uh, profile is the complete uh, pdf which gets generated you can see the profile gets open opening in the browser yeah, maybe if you have pdf it will be open in a pdf file if you don't have the pdf installed then it will be open in the chrome or uh, uh, internet explorer so you can see the entire complete report survey report with respect to the first three dimensional figure then comes the earth depth profile uh, then comes the earth uh, latitude longitude profile then comes the uh, frequency with respect to depth profile and then the other report about the uh, about the complete report about the scan like uh, uh, it is done for mr chendil area you can see the places latitude longitude you can see the source one source two and source three and you can see the <coughs> rock strength analysis water quantum water quality salinity of the water and all the report all the all the earth profile reports will be generated in a pdf file this can be stored for your reference or can be sent to the customer and uh, forgot to mention that uh, <clears throat> on the uh, send report there is a send report button on the software if you press the send report button the report will be the pdf report will be uh, sent to the 
particular particular email id entered thank you Where?